Hey, hey, Reb here, Rebecca, just not Becky, and Albert. Hello. Poppy is, as usual, sleeping. Albert's gonna run away now. So, it's my first video in my new place. I am by no means done moving. I'm close. I'm very close. A few more loads out of the old place and I'll be done. And then I can finish getting this place ready and I will do the final moving, like moving part two. The plants are mostly in place, so that's good. I just have to finish like getting a few more things in place and then put everything up on the walls and then I can do like the tour. Okay, now I need you to pretend a few things. No, I need you to imagine a few things. I need you to imagine that my hair is dry, number one. I need you to pretend that the dryer is not going, okay? I need you to pretend, no, imagine, and that I'm not this tired, and that my mind is working correctly, which obviously is not happening. I need you to imagine that all of my bras are not in the dryer and that I treat my bras normally and that I don't put them in the dryer. So therefore, I need you to imagine that I'm wearing a bra and not hanging loose. I need you to imagine that I'm not wearing capri comfy pants with one <clears throat> um, St. Patrick's Day sock and one gnome sock. Um, I think that's all I need you to pretend. Imagine. Oh. Okay. Also, hey, I'll get your opinion. So this Packer, this Packer sweatshirt. So I'm told that I'm teased a lot that this is called a, um, the neckline is like an uncircumcised foreskin neckline. Okay. I prefer to think of it as like a tortoise neckline, like a turtleneck, but a tortoise neck. What do you think? I just like this sweatshirt. Okay. So I'm exhausted. Moving is no fun. Okay. So today I'm going to chop the hell out of my pink princess philodendron. Why? Because it's driving me up the wall. It is. Uh, it's like the one plant that I constantly have struggled with. It's gorgeous in that it puts out insane amounts of pink. But the problem is that it puts out insane amount of pink. Like I got this, it's the one plant I spent a significant amount of money on, the one plant. The problem is, and it, and it was, it's, it's fantastic. I got it from Gabriella Plants and it's been amazing since the get go. It's big, it's really big, see, big. And it puts out more pink than any other pink princess I've ever seen. And you know pink is my favorite color. <laughs> the, the problem is the pink parts keep turning brown and mushy. Now, I have tried it in various conditions because I have asked multiple pink princess experts like why this could be happening. There's no pests, there's no fungus, or anything like that, bacteria, anything that I can find. And it's only the pink parts that give me trouble. So I've asked friends that have lots of them. I've even gotten the opinion of Shane from Gabriella Plants, who thought maybe it was like an airflow issue, anything like that. So at first we thought maybe it was too much light and humidity, so I moved it 
to a little bit less humid, like away from my humidifier a bit, a little bit less light. Nope. Still every pink part starts almost, I mean, very soon starts turning brown and mushy. Now I have left it so that you can see what it does. I've left it ugly specifically so you can see. Okay, can you see? That's, that leaf was all pink and now it is soft and brown. I'm sure you can see it, right? I can't see if you can see it because of course I don't film with my glasses because they turn like sunglasses. Okay, this one is starting the same thing, okay? Can you see that? This second to newest leaf has not started yet, but it will. And of course now the next new leaf just coming out is all pink, so it will do the same thing. The lowest two leaves didn't really do it, but there was a lot more green on those leaves. The first leaf didn't do it because it was a normal pink princess leaf and had mostly green. This one was the third leaf and it was a half moon, so I had to cut it off because the all pink part did it too. So the leaves that are mostly green with pink splashing, they're fine. But ever since like halfway up, the leaves are mostly mostly pink, so they all do it. So obviously, something happened, and my pink princess turned mostly pink, and all of the leaves turn brown and go to mush. So this is just a testament to the fact that you need green leaves on a plant. So I'm going to cut it up, chop it back. I'm going to chop it back to where most of the leaves were green and splashy pink. I'm going to propagate the pink parts and see if they like maybe grow back to somewhat green. If they don't, they don't. We'll just see what happens. I'm going to chop it back to where it was green and see if it will go back to being mostly green. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't know, but it's driving me insane. Nothing's worked. So let's just see what happens. So. Because I don't have alcohol moved over here yet, I just washed my clippers with dish soap and hot water. That's all I can do. I'm going to do my propagation in sphagnum moss because that's what works best for me, but you could do this in water too. Lots of people do. So I've had my sphagnum moss soaking in water with Super Thrive because my buddy Cody from Happy Little Bush on Instagram he sent me Super Thrive, which I'm loving. And then <clears throat> I have these little tiny plastic pots with no drainage. So that's what I'm going to pop my cuttings into. And then I'm going to put my propagations into my little greenhouse, which stays like at 99% humidity and it's really warm in there. So that's what I'm going to do with the cuttings. So first I'm just going to get a little bit of my sphagnum moss in here at the bottom. So I need to squish out my sphagnum so that no water runs out anymore. I'm like when you twist out a rag that you've used. You want it to be damp, but you don't want any more water to drip out when you squeeze it. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit at the bottom for right now. Okay, so just a tiny bit at the bottom. Now let's get at it. This would be a lot more pa painful if I wasn't really annoyed with this plant. I mean, I think I'm going to make a couple of cuts on it. And this thing is always pushing out a new leaf. It grows so fast. Okay. 
So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna, first I'm just gonna cut off the gross leaves. So this one that's all brown right there, I'm gonna cut that off really close to the base to the stem so I cut the petiole off really close to the stem and we're gonna get rid of that that was the really gross one um, this other one is gonna go too so might as well just get rid of that one right away so again where the petiole meets the stem I'm just gonna cut it really close and get rid of it now I can see what I'm doing better too this is what we're working with. Take my steak out. Okay, so I am going to cut it, I think in, I'm gonna make two cuts so I have three parts. So I wanna cut at right below where all of the little aerial roots are trying to push out where all the nodes are. I'm going to cut right underneath the nodes. So there's a bunch of them sticking out here. Philodendrons always make a bunch of little nodes, little aerial roots trying to pop out all the way around the stem. So it's really easy to see where you want to cut. So I've got green, green, green. So I'm going to keep these on my original plant. And there's all of these little aerial roots, these little bumps right here, if you can see them. So I'm gonna cut right underneath that. Now, when you cut a pink princess, when you cut a pink princess, it's gonna bleed red. So I have my really crappy table. I don't care if it gets stained, but this stuff will stain. So be careful. You're not gonna be really able to see where I'm cutting from this distance, but I'm gonna cut as close to this next petiole as I can without cutting into it. So the bumps are right here, the little nubs. I'm gonna cut, try to make it one clean Cut, which I can't do with this oh. and now that is oozing burgundy red blood red juice and now I have pretty much your typical pink princess leaves which most people would be happy with the amount of pink on them They're just nice and green with splashy pink, which is what I like and most people would like. So let's set that aside. And now I have this nice stump. Still have some green on those bottom couple. So I'm going to cut and make two two leaf cuttings. Ooh, see? Look, that's how. I know I'm really far away, but if you can see on my finger, that blood red, it looks like I got cut. That's the red juice that comes out. Okay. So I now have right at the bottom here. Now it's really close to the bottom. I've got little nubs, which you won't be able to see from that far. There's also some nubs here, the nodes that roots can come out and they're really close to this petiole but still that's another chance for them to root there now on this long stem there's a node here those bumps there's nodes all along here these little bumps there's nodes here so I am gonna leave those and I'm gonna leave, obviously I'm gonna leave these, that's a chance to root. This is a chance to root. And then I'm gonna cut, oops, I'm gonna leave this leaf. 
I'm going to leave that because it's just too close to that one. So I'm going to cut right above these nubs and right below these nubs. Okay. Again, I'm going to try to do it as clean as I can, but my shears are not very long. Oh, hey, I did it. All right, so now I've got another nice green cutting. So this one should do okay, but it's also still got tons of pink in the stem, which you probably won't be able to see, but there's still a ton of variegation ready to go. So let's get this one in moss right away. So the way I like to do it, I've got some moss in the bottom of the pot. And I know that the weight of this is going to be really tippy on the pot, so I'm going to put, I'm actually going to put this in a heavier pot, but I just don't want what it's in to be really roomy. Okay, so I'm wringing out more moss, so it's not dripping out like a dirty rag that you want to dry out that's laying over the nozzle of your kitchen sink, right? And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around those nubs, the nodes, so that I know that there's really good contact on them. And I'm going to try to wrap it around all of the nodes so there's chance, the best chance of rooting. This is where you get to use your, get out some of your, squeeze out some of your aggression and your frustration over this crummy year. Frustration over landlords that kick you out in the middle of a pandemic. Frustration over anything that you got going on. Oh, yeah. All right, so I've got that wrapped around there. Ooh, my moss is bright red. It's, yeah. And then I'm going to put that down in the pot. Whoops, I have too much in the bottom. Take some out. Just think about it as repotting. So now it's down in there. I'm going to fill in just like you would if you were repotting a plant. Doo -doo -doo. You don't want it too wet just like you wouldn't want your soil too wet or you'll rot it. All right. All right. And just like this doesn't have drainage, you don't want water standing at the bottom, just like if it was a pot that didn't have drainage. All right. Okay. All right, so now I know for a fact that that moss is touching all of those nodes. So this one is done. You can see. That's not a hair. That's one of the parts of that moss. Okay, so this one's done. Done. Okay, now we've got this uber pink thing. So, so you can see how pink that stem is. Like it's all burgundy and pink. Like there's a tiny bit of, I mean, the, it's kind of green on the side. So I'm hoping and that there was green. This is a half moon on that side, right? So I'm hoping maybe by chopping it, I'll get more green. We'll see. I'm, per I'm just really hoping. So on this one, I've got one, two nodes, bumps, bumps, nodes. So let's just pot this one up. You know, I'm a po girl and I have a lot of moving expenses. So if anyone wants to buy either of these cuttings, just make an offer. I'm happy, happy, happy to sell or trade for something really good. I'd love a trade for something really good too. You know this is a beautiful one when the pink doesn't, 
you know, go brown. I mean, that's not a very good selling point, but that one should be good. This one, if you like a lot of pink and you don't mind it going brown. Regardless, if you'd like to buy or trade, just let me know. And now I'm going to have two substantial pink princess cuttings. They're not just wet sticks. Don't ask me what I'll sell them for because I have no idea. I'll just make an offer. Okay. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm wrapping it really good. That way I know for sure that the nodes are covered. Again, I put too much at the bottom. I'm slide it down in there. And then I'm going to fill up all the spots, just like I'm back filling soil in a repot. Okay, so now that one's done. I'm really hoping since that one has so much green and then that maybe we'll have better luck. I mean, that stem is still half, half and half, right? All right, so now I have three pink princess. One, two, three, uno, dos, tres. All right. So that was me chopping up my pink princess in an effort to have a little bit less pink, which is backwards from what most people do. Most people chop them because they've reverted back to all green. I am chopping it so that it reverts back to some green. <laughs> okay, so I hope that you are surviving through this pandemic that just seems to get worse and worse and worse. And again, I apologize for all of this, but I am freaking exhausted. And I appreciate so much all of the support that I've had through all of this. You guys are amazing. This community is incredible. So with that, I will tell you, I hope you have a most fantastic day. And um, don't smoke crack, please, for God's sake. I know it's stressful, but don't smoke crack. That's just dumb. And um, wear a mask because things are crazy. Hold your breath around people and just be kind. Be kind. <laughs> all right. I love all of you. And I thank you so much for all of the support and kindness I've received. I am blown away. I am floored. And I thank God every single day so many times for all of you. Okay. See you next time with a big old plant tour and a tour of my new place, which I love. <laughs>